Good morning. It is Wednesday, February 12th, and it is a cold day. I'm Andrew Barber. I'm Nicholas Strout. And we're your host of the WCHS Morning Announcements. This is FCCLA week. Do you even know what FCCLA is, Nick? No, Andrew. Can you please explain it? Yes, me? I can. Family Career and Community Leaders of America is a national career and technical student organization for young men and women in family and consumer sciences, education in public and private school throughout grade 12 offers intracurricular resources and opportunities for students to pursue careers that support families. Since 1945, FCCLA has, members have been making a difference in their families, careers, and communities by addressing important personal work and societal issues through family and consumer sciences and education. Today, over 175,000 members and more than 5,300 chapters are active in a network of associations in 50 states. In addition to the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, the work of FCCLA helps students and teachers focus on a variety of youth concerns, including parenting, family relationships, substance abuse, peer pressure, sustainability, nutrition and fitness, teen violence, and career preparation, and for specific career pathways. Please look for the hidden FCCLA logos around the school this week, and if you find one, see Ms. Davis for a treat. Calling all male CHS students, the Mr. CHS pageant will be held March 20th at uh, 7 p.m. in the CPAC. The competition includes talent, interview questions, and an evening gown competition. There will be an informational meeting on Thursday, February 20th in the CPAC lobby at 7. Casey will be there. Don't worry. Key Club will meet Wednesday, which is today, at 2.45 in the upper level cafeteria. Any junior or senior interested in taking the ASVAB needs to sign up in the main office between now and February 11th for questions, contact Ms. Arnold. CMS and CHS will be having a Dress for Success Day, but it was yesterday. Yes. We weren't in school yesterday, just in case you were wondering. It's been rescheduled, so I'm not sure when that's going to be. Me and Nick thought it was today, yeah, so, so we were like, we're, hey, let's just... We're just dressed up. But it didn't work. Yeah. If you are on the academic team and planning to go on the trip on February 14th, Please pick up a permission slip out my, outside Mr. Guard's door. And then the senior section, seniors stop by the media center on your birthday for a free birthday coffee from the media center. And there will be a senior class meeting Thursday during fifth period. Please make plans to attend. And this Thursday, seniors will have the first off-campus lunch of the semester. If you submitted a permission slip last semester, you don't need to submit another one. So if you have not, please do so ASAP and contact Mr. Venom if you have any questions. Make sure you are visiting the scholarship page on the CHS website listed under the Students tab. Ms. Arnold has posted seven local scholarships this morning along with two additional scholarships. Ms. Arnold will continue to post them as she receives them. And seniors, be sure to read the newsletter sent out this week. It has vital information from Ms. Arnold and Mr. Benham. Orlando, final payment of $50 is due today and Six Flags tickets are $75 until February 28th. After that, the price will be $80. Graduation fees are due no later than March 27th, and the fee is $65. Should be paid online at www.georgiabalfour.com. And in sports, we're going to send it over to Casey. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Basketball update. Yes, sir. We play Jenkins County this Saturday at Jenkins County. So everybody be there. Yeah. Not 100% sure yet. But there will be a meeting Wednesday, February 12th at 2 o'clock for any girl interested in the CHS or C That's today, isn't it? Yeah. The 12th. Yeah. All right, that's today, everyone. So if you're interested in CHS or CMS, chew. Pull up. Pull up. All right, back to y'all for the weather. Appreciate it, Casey, telling us all to pull up. I may, pull up I might just do that. Today's <laughs> weather today will be cloudy with a high of 65, a low of 57, and a 30% chance of rain today. Not bad. And on February 12th, 1909, the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth, no. a group of African American leaders announced the formation of a new organization. Now we know as the <laughs> NCAA. No, what? Nick, it's not the NCAA. It's the NAACP. NAACP. Oh. Oh yeah, NCAAP. <laughs> now, for, now for birthdays. You've um, got to be kidding me. This is, if only we, you, if only you all watching this understood we, the we preparation talked, talked about that this went before. into pronouncing this, and he's although, still incapable of doing it. Although, all that work for nothing. All that work for absolutely nothing. I'm sorry. You, that's pitiful. Birthdays. Happy birthday to Corbin Fuller, Edna McDaniel, Owen Riddell, and Caden Robert Ford the first. 
Happy birthday to you, Cade, Owen, Etta, and Corbin. We, if your birthday was in June, December, and haven't picked up your birthday coffee, you can go now. Also, seniors, which is Cade Ford and Owen Erdell, you can get your coffee in the media center. So, boom. And we hope that you have, it's not Monday, but we hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday. And go Jackets.